Stepped outside today, you could instantly feel the humidity in the air. Now some storms are on the horizon and some of them could be severe. Kate joins us now from her place to time it all out for you. Hey, Kate. Hey, Yuki. Yeah, you know, when we get heat and we get moisture, it just tends to follow that we're going to get some storms. And as we head into the day tomorrow, that brings us our best chance for storms, because not only do we have the heat and the moisture, but we also have a mechanism, an uplift mechanism, a cold front, which is going to be coming through or heading our way throughout the evening hours, especially. And that'll bring our best chance for some strong or even severe thunderstorms. Let's go ahead and take you out to temperatures right now. And you can see for most of us, we're looking very, very warm, but it is warm and it's soupy and it's gray. And in a lot of spots, we've got some showers rolling through. 78 degrees in the city right now. It's 80 in Reading, 79 in Lancaster, 69 in Atlantic City. A little bit cooler down the shore thanks to that onshore flow from the chilly ocean water. Dew points are hovering around the 70 degree mark. So on our dew point scale, when we look at dew points around 70, that gets us very close to the oppressive range of humidity. Dew points in the mid 60s, humid but bearable. Once you get dew points into the mid 70s, that's when it feels downright insufferable. That's when it feels like New Orleans in the summertime with that moisture coming in off the Gulf of Mexico. That is some oppressive humidity. That's what we'll be feeling tomorrow. So Storm Scan 3 showing these scattered showers rolling through some over Upper Bucks, a line right down into Salem County and into Delaware as well. The cold front we're talking about is back to the west. You can see a line near Chicago, but there is a little skinny line of showers and storms firing up over central Pennsylvania right now that could roll in for us overnight. So basically three through tonight and all through tomorrow and tomorrow night can't rule out the possibility of a shower or thunderstorm at any time. It stays warm and steamy tonight. And if you look at those precipitation bars at the bottom of the screen there, the green bars showing tomorrow, we have at least a 25 to 30 percent chance of precipitation at any time time throughout the day. Our high will briefly spike to 85 degrees. So for your Friday, it's warm, it's muggy, and it's going to stay that way as we go through the overnight hours and then things begin to change. But notice scattered showers and storms. That's 345 tomorrow afternoon. The actual cold front still way back to the west over western Pennsylvania, but there will be a prefrontal trough that tries to swing through, bringing the chance for some scattered locally strong storms. A line of thunderstorms in our north and west suburbs late tomorrow night could turn briefly severe, then we clear it out and the humidity drops as we get into Saturday. Our thunderstorm fuel for tomorrow, you can see mainly from the city on north and it'll be mainly in the evening. So the highest risk is west and northwest. Strong winds inhale the greatest threats. A low tornado risk, but a non-zero tornado risk. So can't rule it out in this scenario, but for the most part, strong winds inhale the biggest threats and mainly north and west. Then we clear it out. Humidity drops Saturday. It's a cool, refreshing Sunday and Monday. Then showers return to the forecast toward the middle of next week. Yuki, we'll send it back over to you. All right, Kate, thanks so much.